and then I'm gonna look at your hip height as well. And and then also tighter too. Okay. So I have to like almost do like pigeon pose or figure four to kind of like release that tension. Same thing, and I'm not trying to make her look silly or oh stupid, God. but that was one. Good, and this is her fifth lumbar. This is gold again. Listen to these things. Right here. So right in here, that is. You want to stick around for the rest of this video. We've got some very, very cool chiropractic adjustments for you today from some of your favorite chiropractors and our new special guest, Dr. Nesli Klerch. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any fresh chiropractic content. Let's get into it. Next up, we have Dr. Matt Delgado. We're here today with Cece. So what do you do for a living, first of all? Hi guys, I'm a functional nutritionist. What brought you in today? What's going on? So I have a history of being a cheerleader and being a dancer and I've had a couple injuries. So I sprained my ankle during competition season. Yeah, yeah, I was crying. I was like, I can't even fit my foot in my shoe, my ballet shoe. So I just sat there and watched instead. And I was like so disappointed and upset, but our dance teacher made us do and we would sit with our feet together like this and we would have someone stand on us to improve our turnout. And one day my hip just literally like popped out and in, almost like people like pop their shoulders in and out. It happened to my hip. I ended up going to Children's Hospital for that and had to get MRIs and they saw that I have a tear in my ligament because of that. You stay like that and I'm gonna look at your posture from this position first. So let's have you turn your head to the left for me please and then back to center. And I'm looking at head position. Here, the right hip is higher than the left. And if the camera's looking at this, you can see my thumbs. Those thumbs are an easy way to tell there. And when she looks right, your hips go even. <laughs> so the solution would just be to have her look to her right for the rest of her life and just walk around like that. Any pressure here or sensitivity here? No, it just feels like you're pressing there. Out, bending the knees. I want you to try to lift your whole right leg up as high as you can, please. Good, and then drop it down, now the left. So did one feel harder than the other? I think my right feels harder. And that was the injured side originally. Mm -hmm. so, oh, and there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Yeah. I always have like a knot in my glute meat here too. Okay. And I don't know if that's related it to. It is related. It's kind of like dominoes, you hit one down, the other ones fall down with it. Mm -hmm. So as, as soon as we repair, correct, this get this more stable mm -hmm. that muscle will start to relax so i'm going to actually muscle test here so we can check the glute medius and same thing here hold that one there and you feel how there's nothing there <laughs> on the right relative to the left mm -hmm. so i'm going to bend the leg bring it up and then don't let me push this down okay good and then let's check the right one now don't let me push this down so same thing, and I'm not trying to make her look silly or oh stupid, God. but that was one finger CC, <laughs> yeah, oh my God. just to show, but that's, um, that's a connection problem. For me. And this one, don't let me push this down and in. Okay, good there. And then same thing here, don't let me. And same thing, there's Yeah, I feel, I feel a straining here. I feel like whenever I do glute bridges or hip thrust, I can feel like my hips almost like unleveled and it almost feels like I'm pushing more through my left because my right doesn't want to compensate. Yeah. Um, that's when I'm doing squats. And then when I do um, hip thrust, this glute just gets depleted really quickly. Like it's so much ti uh, more, more tired yeah. and then also tighter too. Okay. So I have- and I'm gonna check your leg length from this position. So short on her left, about a half inch. Good. Recheck the weaker side here. Don't let me push in toward the midline. We have some engagement. And then the glute max, same thing. Don't let me push this down. That's a lot better. Do you feel a difference with these as we go through them? Yeah, I feel, like I said, I feel so much stronger. So there's been damage or trauma to the ligaments of the right hip. So this is something that I'm not gonna 
I'm talking to you and to the people at home. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to put you on your side for an adjustment today, mm-hmm. but I'm going to do a way to still create the neurologic change mm-hmm. without compromising your health. Here. Good. And this is her fifth lumbar for the people at home wondering. There we go. And then now, one more time, go ahead and try to lift that right leg for me, please. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna do this. Don't let me push this in. Good. Does that feel any different on the muscle? Let me do that. Mm-hmm. I feel a little less, a little less straining. And don't let me push this down. Good. And let it all go. A little push right there. You're gonna feel this one move. Good. Oh wow. <laughs> that was so necessary. <laughs> <laughs> and then go ahead and turn it over onto your back for me, please. And then let's have you go ahead and lie all the way back. So the right one was the one that you originally had sprained, correct? Yeah, and I always get Charlie horses um, on this foot too, like right where my um, arch is, right here. So right in here, that is so common. I hear that in this room every single week when people first start out, but then mm-hmm. as we get the health of the foot to come back to ideal, mm-hmm. they go away. So common, yes, normal, no. Similar to in your field, mm-hmm. bloating, cramps, gas. Yeah. We normalize them because they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Here is really stuck. It's not moving correctly. Mm-hmm. Right there. Mm-hmm. Any pressure? I push in it? No. Okay. So I'm gonna do a couple muscle tests. This one's showing up. There's more stuff in it. So let's have you hold the foot up and out like that. I'm gonna push it down and in, don't let me. Good, and then straight up here, don't let me bring it down, good. And then down and in this way, don't let me push it up and out, right there. And you might feel a move on these, you might not. Some of them will be small movements, and some of them hopefully will make a little bit of noise because people at home will yell at me if they So that was, this is more of your ankle. Yeah. That was the outside and then the heel mm-hmm. underneath it and then the one on top of the talus. Good, so now your ankle is in the right position. Yeah, and I think my foot's all, my toe's all messed up. Yeah, this is too, yeah, I could feel it, but it's, it's too mobile. You feel the difference? This one moves a little, I mean, almost slightly, it's so, it's, such a small amount that I'm going to use an instrument. You're going to feel just jamming on the joint really hard. And sometimes this is needed. This is one of them. So I'm going to move your foot as we do this. Okay. And then let's recheck the strength. So hold the big toe up. Don't let me pull it down. Hey, what do you notice? It's better. <laughs> Before it just like flopped down. Yeah, arch here, a little bit of the push. And this one's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. Good, there's like a noise for the people at home. There, there. (laughs) So to find this, Mm -hmm. you'll be right on the shin bone and then just slide off of it toward um, the midline, toward the inside and it's right underneath that bone, Mm -hmm. right there. And then let's check this side. So the heel is off here and we can actually, this is one where we could see the swelling present. I don't know if you've noticed this on the inside of your foot, but right there, a little puffy. Yeah. So it's because of the joint of the heel. I can show you on this, it's easier to see. This bone Mm -hmm. has moved in Mm -hmm. like that. So right where these two meet, Mm -hmm. There's some swelling there, and that's what I'm pushing on. There we go. And you feel it move, and you can hear it. I don't know how it sounds on video, but my ear's right here, so I can hear it. There. And now your heel's in a different position, and that's going to straighten even the way the foot sits or moves forward. Mm-hmm. Adjustment right here. This is the first metatarsal for all the nerds at home. I don't always talk with all these words, but on YouTube, we kind of have to. There, good. There, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like just more even. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, good. And I notice I, sometimes I tend to, I just notice that I tend to do this more. Mm -hmm. 
but a synthetic adjustment, I feel like I'm more like even footed. Up next, we have Dr. Nesley Clurge. And I'm gonna stretch your neck both ways, okay? Okay. If it ever becomes too tight or uncomfortable, just let me know and we stop. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with a big deep breath for me. And let it out. How's that? That's good. Can I go further? Yes. All right, so breathe again. Let it out. Is that okay right there? Mm-hmm. Good, relax, let it out. Good. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Big deep breath. Relax and let it out. Good. And deep breath in. And good out. Good. And I'm gonna place it right here on my shoulder. Okay? So you wanna start with a big deep breath in and out. How's that? That's good. Is it too tight? Yeah. A little bit? Okay, so let's stop and then we start over. Relax completely, let it out. How's that right there? Okay. And out. A little more pressure is the last one. Good. Mm -hmm. While I lift this leg up just like this, okay? Okay. So start with a big deep breath for me. Let it out. How's that? That's good. Okay, can I go a little further? Mm -hmm. All right, let's take another breath. Let it out. Comfortable right there? Mm -hmm. Good. Breath in. Let it out. Good. Comfortable right there? Mm -hmm. Let's go one more time on this side, okay? Mm -hmm. Breath once you're ready. Relax and let it out. Is that comfortable? Mm -hmm. Can I go further? Mm -hmm. Let's take another breath. Relax and let it out. Good. We're gonna do one more time, okay? Uh -huh. So can I start with a big deep breath? Good. Relax. Let it out. Perfect. All right. So the head is right in that groove. Good. I'm gonna square your shoulder up a bit, a little bit more. Good, okay. Take a deep breath for me. Let it out. Good, you wanna relax your body as much as you can, okay? Okay. All right, hold on to your arm a little tighter though. Good, all right. And out. One more time, deep breath. Out, relax. There it is, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, again. Again, uh, other side. <laughs> and you're just gonna hold on to your arm. Do I need to do something with this hand? I got you. Okay. So, your lower part of your body, you're gonna bring it a little bit closer. There you go, perfect. Hold on to your arm. Good. And I'm gonna bend this leg this way. Now, hold on a little tighter. There you go, good. Deep breath for me. Let it out. Good. Hold on tight. Good. Relax. Deep breath out. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Drop your whole body on me. Good. All right. Deep breath. Out. Relax. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She looking at me like... <laughs> that was good. That's good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to, same scenario, interlock your fingers, go underneath your hair, put it on top of my hands, okay? Wait, like this? So go underneath your hair and interlock your fingers. And you want to put it on top of my hands. Like this? Yep, perfect, good. All right, now, squeeze your elbows together. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring you back. It still kind of feel tight. Right it now. feels tight. Yeah, it's gonna feel tight. Squeeze your elbows harder, harder. Yeah, you're too tight for that. Okay. Usually you'll hear a lot of popping. Yeah, yeah. I feel that I was tight. But right I knew you were too tight for it. All right, so let's try a different one. Okay. Okay. So there it is. 
Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Okay. So once again, just relax for me, okay? Okay, is this good? Just that's good. And I'll do all the movements for you. You don't move your head and neck, I'll do the movements. You ready? Mm -hmm. Relax for me. Relax, relax. Good, good, good. Relax. Mm. Yes, man. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. That was good. Again. So the key is. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Swami. Mm. There mm. you go. Mm. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.